In this video, I'll show how to use a electric network analyzer and a field strength meter and an oscilloscope, all for tuning a Tesla coil system. So first, I'm using the electric network analyzer and the primary coil alone, then the secondary coil alone, then the two coupled together. When they're coupled together, you'll see two resonant peaks on the display. So in other words, the Tesla coil has more than just one resonant frequency. So first, the VNA has been connected to the primary tank circuit. So what we have is a resonant peak on the primary tank circuit. Right there, marker 2, which is 1111 kilocycles. Basically, what we want to know here is that the primary tank circuit at 1111 kilocycles, that is what we'll want to be matching or compatible with the secondary circuit. So. 11.11. Now removing primary. To do the same thing with just the secondary in isolation. Now the secondary coil is being series fed from the VNA. The positive of the VNA goes to the bottom of the coil. The negative is going to my RF ground. This is the characteristic uh, single coil shape. There's an impedance minimum at 0.1. That's the series mode resonance. 1140 kilocycles. So 0.2 here is the impedance maximum, and that represents the LMD resonant frequency. It's about 1150 kilocycles. The point is that's very much compatible with the primary tank circuit. They're both around 1.1 megacycles, 1100 kilocycles. Now let's try the primary fed secondary. It's the whole system all together. The positive lead of the VNA is at the beginning of the circuit. Negative is going to go on the other end of the primary. We've got the primary and the secondary in communication. Everything is in situ. And what we can see is that now there's two peaks, these two blue spikes, the two impedance maxima, one at 1046 kilocycles and the other 0.4 at 1220 kilocycles. The series mode minimum point is around 1184 kilocycles. This got 5.8 primary tank circuit parallel capacitance. What happens if we bump that down one? The points go up. So if we're seeking uh, equal amplitudes of the blue spikes, this seems to be a fairly sweet spot. 5.8 nanofarads in the primary tank circuit. And then next what I'll do is to be raising up the primary coil. And we can see we get frequency splitting. The two peaks move wider apart. The series mode, 0.2, in the middle stays the same because the wire length is not changing. But the two blue spikes get wider apart. That's, that's the frequency splitting phenomena. But before I shift the coil up, I wanted to check how it is as I've been running it, just laying flat like this. So the points of interest. The first parallel mode resonant peak is at 1046 kilocycles. The second marker 2 here represents the series mode resonant point. That's 1184 kilocycles. And marker 3 is showing us the higher resonant peak. That's the parallel mode uh, LMD resonance point. It's 1217 kilocycles. So this here is the new field strength meter, and it's a real simple way to measure the quality factor Q of the coil. So what that is, is the resonant frequency divided by the bandwidth. So we'll use this to find the upper and the lower frequencies, and then have a real simple uh, formula to obtain our Q factor. So let's see, what is this coil's resonant frequency? Finding a peak on the field meter will show us which is the resonant frequency. That 
looks like a peak. Okay, it looks like that's our resonant peak at. 1206 kilocycles, so we'll set that to be 100%. Make it fill up all the meter. That's 1206 kilocycles, and then let's see what brings it down to 70% above and below the resonant frequency. What is the upper and the lower? There is one at 1213 kilocycles. And 11. 98 kilocycles. So to get the bandwidth, we'll subtract 1198 from 1213, and then we'll divide the resonant frequency by that number to get the quality factor Q. So it's going to be a little bit loaded down because of the oscilloscope probes uh, inductively near it, but looks like here's the series mode resonant point. About 1027 kilocycles. And where's the parallel mode? The yellow trace and the blue trace ought to be out of phase. The yellow trace being the primary, blue trace being the secondary. Here it comes. And that's right about 1200 kilocycles. Eleven ninety six, eleven ninety eight. That peak. These results compare quite closely with the VNA.